Water quality monitoring is conducted to inform the fishery management decision making process. This includes fish stock assessments, fish counters, river habitat, water quality and telemetry. The biological and chemical monitoring of fresh waters is undertaken on an annual basis by the LOX agency. This assists in determining the concentration of harmful pollutants in the aquatic environment. Over 100 sites are sampled across the Foyle and Carnickford areas. Each of the sampling sites are assessed for biological indicators using the three minute kick sampling method. Samples obtained allowed for detailed macroinvertebrate identification with results recorded to determine a biotic index or score. This gives us an indication of the water quality and can be a good reflection of environmental pressures within a catchment. Different species of macroinvertebrates display a range of sensitivities to water pollution. Ephemeroptera, nymphs and stoneflies are normally associated with very good water quality. If the highest order species present are caddis, this is indicative of moderate water quality, whereas leeches and midge larvae are indicative with poor water quality. The LOX Agency's freshwater telemetry and monitoring program allows for real-time recording of river characteristics. Equipment is currently deployed at three rivers within the foil catchment. River Row, River Morn and the River Finn. Information obtained from probes in the rivers is sent back continuously which can be accessed by staff and stakeholders alike. Parameters include temperature, depth, pH, conductivity, dissolved oxygen and turbidity. These are not only applicable for pollution monitoring and research purposes, but are also beneficial for recreational activities such as angling or canoeing as a method of checking real-time conditions. As well as collecting the, the physical sample that we take back to the lab for processing, there's also some supplementary data we get from the, the river. Uh, we use a um, portable rugged probe. Um, there's three probes to this here. Uh, they tell us different parameters. We've got uh, dissolved oxygen, pH and conductivity. We have the bulk sample that we obtained from before uh, in this large bucket. The probes are in the bucket. Um, and once you select each cable, automatically detects which probe it is. Select the site and press read. We've obtained our bulk sample here from the river. 
Uh, then we want to use one of these litre sample bottles to obtain uh, the water sample itself. Make sure you rinse out the bottle a couple of times, discarding it. When you fill the, the sample bottle, it's important to make sure that all um, dissolved oxygen is displaced from the sample bottle itself. Immerse the bottle totally in the water. You should have the water up to the brim of the bottle. Place the lid on. And then the screw cap, like so. Important information is needed then for the sample bottle before it goes back to the lab. That includes the location, the sample um, ID, sampler, time, date, etc. And we use uh, labels for this purpose. Once you have the label on the sample bottle, place it into the cool box. It's important that it's kept cool and back into the lab within four hours for processing. Water samples are returned to the LOX agency's laboratory for processing and analysis. Parameters such as ammonia, total phosphorus and suspended solids can be measured through using a spectrophotometer. Biological oxygen demand is another good indicator of water quality. A water sample is incubated in the laboratory for five days before a result is recorded. It measures the rate of oxygen depletion caused by bacteria in a sample. The biological and chemical analysis of samples allows the LOX agency to identify potential threats to fish health and aquatic ecosystems, to inform the public and our stakeholders about the quality of the aquatic environment and to raise awareness of environmental issues, to provide inputs into policy making decisions and to identify trends in pollution and to identify future problems.